What's going on guys, it's Gary and coming you guys a new tutorial on Photoshop and this is going to be how to create some polyscape kind of wallpapers or banners, however you guys want to put it into. If you guys don't know what polyscapes are, it's basically a kind of photo manipulation of different like shapes basically. And uh, if you put them together a certain way, they kind of look pretty cool and you guys can come out with a lot of cool effects. So right here I'm just showing you guys a couple examples that I found on Google. I just typed in the word polyscape and these came up. We're going to be making something really basic like this. And uh, it's pretty much to show you guys an overview on how to do it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it's basically, it honestly is really just a bunch of shapes put together. You guys can see right here, there's a couple more of an HD sites and more of an HD kind of quality video or picture. So, uh, the way you guys want to start this off is finding your own background image. You guys want to work by like layer by layer. So, what you want to do is just go to like, let's say Google, and you want to type in, let's just say HD, actually put UHD mountain scene images and then you guys can go through these so uh, basically all you want to do is go to your size and make the size larger than two megapixels and then you guys can pretty much look through all these as much as you want really does not matter on what you use it you just got to like follow like the same color scheme that's pretty much it so <clears throat> I guess I'm stuck in my throat I'm gonna grab this one and all I was gonna do is copy the image and paste it in my background and then kind of just put it wherever I want so let me make the, the uh, mountains kind of the center point of view. So now that you have that, if you guys go back to like these examples, you guys can see that they added like, like circles, squares, lines and stuff. So uh, what we're gonna do, we're actually going to add a kind of square, but we're gonna break it up a certain way. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a square, make it any color, doesn't really matter. Put it in the center. All right, hit Control T, hold Shift and rotate at 45 degrees. And then you want to go to fill, put that 0% blending options, <clears throat> stroke, and just put it on the inside or something. Put it on like 16, doesn't really matter. These aren't like meant to be perfect at all, so put it on like 16, make a new layer, and then merge these two. So it's just one complete layer. So the next thing you guys want to do is pretty much go and find a different kind of wallpaper. And it could be the same thing, it could not be the same thing. What I'm going to do is probably find a. Uh, Kind of like a beach scene, so UHG beach. And let's just say I'm gonna grab this one. Actually, I take it back. Forest UHG. So the reason why I'm putting UHG is just because it's 4K resolution and it's just a lot nicer to look at. You can basically find anything you want. Make sure it's above the two megapixels. Usually anything above that or around that quality is it. So I'm pretty much just pasting it in shrinking it until I can get a uh, nice match on what kind of size I want. And then since I have this shape right here, all I'm going to do is take this, hold alt, and make a clipping mask onto it. And then you can mess around with where you want to put it. I'm going to do something like this. And then now I'm going to start adding different kind of shapes. So let's just say I'm going to make a new layer. Maybe I'm going to put one and center it. Put one like right in the middle, actually. Get a little bigger, a little smaller, like this. Put this below, and let's just say we're gonna grab a uh, full moon wallpaper. So you guys can see that I'm pretty much just going back and forth and finding kind of different examples. Just say we're gonna grab this one. Actually, it's not HD. Size to make the pixels. <clears throat> oh, I don't know. It's stuck in my throat. I was eating mad chips before this, so that could, that could be the fucking case. So, keep looking. I wonder why these are so weird. Oh, there you go. Now it's going to take forever to load. It's actually like a perfect wallpaper, too. So, uh, we're just going to add that in there. I hope that's enough. Nope. Copy like four times, paste it in. There you go. And I'm just going to put a clipping mask onto this. And do the same thing I've been doing, just kind of shrinking it. And then, just say we're going to put it in the middle. So what I'm going to do is shrink this even more. Make the moon kind of the center of attention. And put that there. So, now that we have some of these overlappings, what we're going to do actually is go to these and put a uh, an outer glow on of a white color. And we're going to make the size a little smaller, so it's kind of like bracing the uh, outside of it like that. We, what we could also do is just say we're going to grab a new layer. We're going to take a 
brush size about like since this is so big we're gonna put it to about like 275 ish just kind of click on the bottom or something create a kind of like a depth feel or kind of a uh, drop shadow we're gonna be adding a lot more to this anyway so if we go back to these kind of polyscapes you guys can see it's not only stuff that they add is like shapes like this they also add is white lines so we're gonna add a couple of those add some kind of cool effects to it so let's just say we're gonna grab something like this we can even do it this way just grab a uh, a new rectangle and we're gonna make it like this center it and we're gonna do the same thing that we've been doing so we're gonna put this to the top this time the fill to the zero go to blending options stroke and let's put it to like two rasterize it oops hit export I don't know what it's doing now and let's make a new layer merge these two so it's just a kind of a plain shape and then you guys can start deleting stuff so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say kind of comes up here maybe it breaks right here doesn't have to be perfect comes here let's say it goes down here goes across and the same thing right here and then it goes across again and breaks apart so we have something like this what we could also do is we can go to fill you can put the fill down a little bit to kind of create a glowing little effect other than that it's really nothing else so uh basically you have all this stuff and you guys can pretty much do anything you want people add shapes out of like anything they'll make like a new layer put it to the bottom grab like a rectangle and they'll just create like little rectangle shapes so let's put one in there put one in the middle raise it above a little more kind of the same height so it's like that could even do is take these copy and hit control J and bring it to the bottom so it's kind of like the same effect except for it's backwards so let's go back to these find more examples that you guys can do people add upside down triangles upside down things shapes a lot of people do a lot of different styles a uh, very kind of unique style that some people will do let's just say we're gonna have um like mountains here they'll find a uh, cityscape so tip in cityscape they'll grab this I don't want to download it. Hopefully, this lets me copy it. Yeah, they'll add a cityscape into it. Let's just say we take the moon out. And they'll put the cityscape there instead. But I kind of like the way the moon looks. So, what I'm going to do is improvise and put the cityscape instead of the forest. So, uh,. That's not it. We're not done yet. Not at all. So what we can do is if you guys have my lighting pack, if you guys do not, you guys can go get it in the uh, description below. Comes a bunch of lights. So just because start grabbing stuff and throwing it in, trying to create a uh, a more kind of put together feel. So I'm just going to put a white glowing one above that. We can start grabbing like flares. Prefer getting colored ones if you can. Maybe putting it to the screen. Putting it to the side. Kind of delete some stuff. Put it to the other side and do the same thing. You guys can also add exposure. So if you just go to the adjustment layers, you can go to gamma correction, mess with that a little bit. Even uh, exposure. You guys can really mess with a lot of stuff. You guys can even mess with the contrast to make a, a more distinct kind of color scheme. If not, you guys can make it a little more dull. You guys can see that you guys can really do anything with this. It's endless on how many possibilities you can do. So let's just say that we're going to keep it like this. And if you go back to these, you guys can always look at these for inspiration. These are always here. They're never going to change. So uh, always going to have something to look at if you guys really need help with. What else I'm going to add, though, to be kind of my last little effect, I'm going to put this just randomly in between my layers. Put that there. Oops, I did that wrong. Grab my pen tool. Make sure my brush is on 2. My hardness is 0, or 100, excuse me. And then just hit right click. Come on. Stroke path. I'm gonna use my brush. So make a nice white. Duplicate. And I'll flip horizontally. And let's say we're gonna put this on the other side right there. Doesn't have to be perfect, as I said. Really does not matter at this point. It is all kind of custom. You're gonna add some right there. So let's say we're gonna keep it like this. 
Um, really, you guys don't have to put too much effort into this. So basically, the style about this is kind of keeping it simplistic. You guys can see that they kind of added just little kind of effects. They kept it as basic as possible. It's the best the way that you guys can do it. Adding different colors as well does a really big job on creating some stuff. So I'm going to keep scrolling through these while I talk. And it's basically how it goes. People just add kind of the basic stuff. You can also take shapes out like more of a pop out kind of feel. So uh, I'm not going to really do that too much. But let's just say that you wanted to do it. Let's just say we're going to grab a uh, cityscape. I'll duplicate it and then I'll lower the opacity a little bit. You guys can pretty much pick out like a skyscraper or something that you want to bring out. So go right here. Really badly done, but it'll work. You guys can take it out, make, make a selection, hit Control J, see it just duplicates, and then if you hide the other layer, you can see that it's popped out and stuff like that. But uh, it works a lot better with like trees and stuff. It's not really the kind of thing to do it with. So uh, let's just say you guys want to fill it in and shit off at here. What else you want to do is pretty much just kind of grab uh, stocks and stuff like colors, lights. All you want to do is kind of add these wherever you can to create a uh, really nice feel. It's to basically bring it out everything so you can add like a really bright one there. Maybe even like flip this. A little bit kind of bring it out in the corner doesn't really matter but uh i'm gonna actually change that city background i kind of keep like the forest or the snowy stuff so type in snowy hd how about this this kind of looks pretty cool paste that in yeah there you go it looks a lot better so you guys can see I just really mess with a lot of backgrounds. There's really nothing you can actually do to go wrong. Um, it's, it's basically endless. You guys can just type in a bunch of random stuff. Like I'm type, type, uh, typing in clouds. That looks a little, a little weird. Grab this. Where's uh, the circle? So, and the possibilities are a little legit endless. So let's just say you want to keep it at this. So you're done right here. What you can do now is you guys can add kind of a cool, a little cool effect that uh, not too many people started doing, but uh, I think it's really cool. You can add a little swatch down here, random rectangle, just put it to the top, and let's just say we're going to grab this kind of purple, grab a darker one, grab this, we'll have to duplicate it, and bring it to the side so it breaks like that. We can grab a uh, brighter color, just keep hitting this X. Do the same thing, duplicate. Find where it breaks. Let's just say we're gonna grab that white. Duplicate again. And you guys wanna do this for legit, like at least six colors or something. Maybe in like the bright one right there. Let's just say we're gonna finish it off with a nice blue. And then what I do, Kind of center this as best as you can and bring it down like that and it kind of just promotes like the color swatches that you use it's a cool effect that people do you can even put them in the middle or something just kind of create that contrast so um just put that back in the middle so basically that's it there's other stuff you guys can do let's just say we're gonna merge it all hit Control j go to filter gallery and gaussian blur you can actually blur it a little bit and take out the major parts that you want people to see so uh possibility is endless i always say it and there's really an endless amount of things you guys can do with this let's just say we're gonna go to render lens flare let's just say we're gonna add something like up there let's just say we're gonna take the eraser like that um back and let's add let's just say uh and saturation and we'll finish it off here you can bring the colors out a little more maybe brighter darker maybe even kind of dull it out make it kind of like a, a tumbler feel so uh really you guys can do anything you want with this. this is just kind of an example of showing you guys how to make more of an abstract polyscape so uh 14 minutes long did not take that 
long actually people can go a lot longer with this just a pretty much a brief example on how stuff can get done the examples you guys can use etc so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a thumbs up and pretty much like this video as i said before if you guys want to see something cool i'm not going to release it just yet you guys will be seeing this video pretty much the day that I uploaded which is gonna be the day I'm recording which is the 17th but uh peep out my new logo it's gonna be coming out very soon and I hope you guys want to see this there'll be a link in the description for the Twitter link also if you guys want to see it even more just kind of retweet and favorite it and it's saying that you came here from YouTube and I'll definitely leave you guys a little follow so hope to see you guys in a little bit other than that I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you later peace out